So I heard you say Flowers was called Grandmaster. He was the first Grandmaster, yeah, as far as like entertainers or music is concerned. And there was the other MCs that called themselves Grandmaster. There was no MC un unless he was some unknown, like, you know, I'm probably, I'm probably sure there were because everybody, a lot of cats copied. There were a lot of underlings. There was a lot of, t there was tears to this shit. And on the third tier, there probably was a whole bunch of grandmasters, you know, in their little neighborhood or whatever. But traditionally, and as far as the, re the books go, there was Grandmaster Flowers, okay? And then there was Grandmaster Flash, all right? Um, I think I'm the next Grandmaster, and then Melly Mel. There's been a couple, but nobody that really stuck to the fabric that, that you would, you know. But, and, and let me clarify this too. Grandmaster is not my name. My name is Cass, and Cass is short for Casanova, which was my hip hop name back in the day, Casanova Fly. And um, Grandmaster is a title. Absolutely. It's a level of excellence, mm -hmm. and it applies to martial arts. Yes. Martial arts have Grandmaster, yeah. have always traditionally a chess, chess players. There are Grandmasters in chess. And so if you if you if you use the title of Grandmaster, it's not like you're taking somebody's name. You're taking the title. Right. There's no one king. Nobody could call himself king and be the only king. There's kings all over the place, right. motherfucker. So I mean, we are in the process right now of, of, of like like knighting people as Grandmaster. Mm. You know what I mean? Because like I said, it's a level of excellence, and there are people who reached a level or or surpassed your level of excellence. So, if anything, you should be making them a grandmaster. So, I, I've been talking. Me and Molly Mel just talked recently about that. We did that for TC Islam, got arrested dead. Yeah, God uh, bless for, for DJ, uh, for Hip Step DJ for Zulu mm -hmm. Nation and stuff. Oh, passed away. We made him a grandmaster. Rock Raider uh, was anointed grandmaster. You know. Uh, I think before he passed away. So, yeah. But it's a title. Yeah, so, I can flash so it as a name. Like, that's my name, Grandmaster Flash. Like, when he announces himself, he say, yo, this is Flash. He don't say this is Flash. He say, yo, this is Grandmaster. Gotcha. But it's a, it's a level of achievement. For me. Yeah. 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 It makes total sense, you know, because that is what it means in um, karate, as you said. You know, that's a level that you um, get to. Yeah, and the grandmaster, my grandmaster ship or whatever, or anointment came from just being fast on the turntables. So I was about to ask you at what point yeah, did you Yeah, Flash was traditionally the fastest man on two turntables. Mm -hmm. That's what he was touted to be. And um one night I was getting down at the club, you know what I mean? And my man was going faster, faster, faster. I was like, damn, 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 damn. He was like, Grandmaster, Grandmaster. Because Grandmaster means fast on the turntables. Oh, so the crowd started going, Grandmaster, Grandmaster, Grandmaster. So it was like I had achieved, you know, that speed that people could compare me to flat. So from that night on, I was Grandmaster. But I don't limit it to DJing because I'm not just a DJ. I'm one of the greatest fucking MCs that ever touched a microphone. And that's why I'm a grandmaster. Talk about it. Absolutely. Talk about it. Talk about it. You understand what I'm saying? A lot of cats with the title, you ain't, they ain't done a third of the shit that I've done in this culture. Mm -hmm. Okay? I didn't come in into hip hop and get on somebody's set and start rhyming. I had my own fucking set. I was a DJ. I had equipment. I made did my own parties. I got my own venues. I did my own flyers. Okay, there's flyers in fucking museums that I drew by hand. Okay, so when you start adding up accolades and shit and putting in receipts and talking about what you did and who you are, add all that shit up. Add all that shit up that happened before a record even came out. Mm. All the work that had to go into keeping this culture alive up to the point where, because this shit could have died a long time ago. Mm -hmm. 
Hip hop could have stopped at some point. It could have been exactly what people thought it was, a fad. Mm. But we stuck to the motherfucking grain. It was like, fuck, I don't care if you don't like it or not. We gonna do this shit. And bitch, you don't want to dance with me? Fuck you, I dance by myself. <laughs> <laughs> me and my boys gonna be over here in this circle getting it in. All right, I'll holler at you when the hustle come on. You know what I mean? And that kind of dedication led to this culture being here and what it is to this day.